President Bridges and his wife for the loss in, in their family. Uh, his, Dr. Bridges' mother-in-law passed away yesterday. Well, it's a great honor for me to be here and a great pleasure. Uh, I, a lot of people ask me how my life is since I left the White House. And the best thing I can think of is a cartoon that was in the New Yorker magazine a few years ago. This little boy is looking up at his father. He says, Daddy, when I grow up, I want to be a former president. <laughs> well, the reason for that is the former president have a lot of blessings. And I was going down the list of my blessings in my life in the last few years. And uh, I would say that one of my blessings that has been important throughout my life has been AVAC. Mm -hmm. AVAC has been a blessing to me as a child. I remember when uh, all the cotton fields in Georgia had pretty well been eroded away. And my father was a, a farmer. I grew up on a farm west of Plains. And uh, my daddy came down to AVAC to learn how to survey terraces and then to lay off and build terraces using mules. And now when I walk through the forest of uh, my farm, it used to be open land, and I come to a, a terrace, I always think about my daddy, I always think about AVAC. Well, I went off to the Navy, and then I spent 12 years in the Navy, and then I came back home, and eventually I was state senator and the governor, as you know, and then I was president. And when I came back home, uh, I, was, uh, I was put on the spot of earning a living. And I had been away from farming for a long time, but I was in charge of my family's farm. And uh, we've owned it, two, we have two farms. The oldest farm, we've had it since 1833. As soon as the Indians left Georgia, we inherited uh, that, that land by lottery uh, in 1833. And then we have a new farm that my family bought in, 18, in 1904. So you can see that we've had one of them for 110 years and another one for about 175 years. But those were the farms on which I was in, you know, obligated to earn a living. I didn't know anything about how to grow peanuts anymore, although I grew up doing it. I didn't know anything about cotton, I didn't know anything about planting pine trees, I didn't know anything about laying on terraces. And what do you think I learned? Anybody guess? Hey, back. Hey, back. Yeah, you should come down here and go to the uh, all day, sometimes two day courses uh, for farmers who come into ABAC and learn how to do those things if they don't know how. And eventually I went into the warehouse business. I had a cotton gin, I had a peanut shelling plant, I was producing seed peanuts for Georgia and for Alabama and for Florida, making a good living. And I would put, I had a two-ton truck, and I would put hay bales around the inside of the truck body, and I would haul farmers down here to join with me in learning <laughs> the latest techniques of how to grow peanuts and cotton, and where do you think we came? To ABAC. So you can see that ABAC's been a great blessing for me. How many of you know Doug Wade? Doug Wade is a great professor who just resigned from, from uh, retired, I think, from ABAC this year. He and his people who are experts on outdoors, have come down up to my house in Plains, Georgia, every year now for about 20 years, and they take care of my wood duck boxes. So I'm still blessed with, uh, with ABAC. You can see why when I count my blessings, ABAC is near the top. So I'm glad to be here. 